Today, I'm going to show you how to create an invisible box using masking in Femar 11. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Wondershare from Femar here to empower your inner video creator. Masking illusions are so popular these days, and they can be done with so many different kind of objects. You just need to think creatively like this invisible box illusion we created using Femar 11. You want to know how to do it? Let's check it out! First, let's get the footage we need for editing. We will need two clips to create this invisible box. The first clip is a clean plate with only the shelf in the frame. And the second clip records all the actions of the subjects. First, let's set up the camera. Make sure the camera is on a tripod or a steady surface, so it doesn't move while filming. I'm going to keep the shelf in the middle of the frame and adjust the camera until the first level has the minimum skewness in the frame. Then, let's roll the camera for about 10 seconds with only the shelf inside the frame. Now, let's have the subject walk from the right of the frame to behind the shelf. Pretending that there is an invisible box where the first level is. Make sure the subject keeps both hands inside the box while moving. Then, let the subject grab the camera and place it on the first level of the shelf. After that, have the subject walk to the right side of the frame. In the meantime, I'm going to ask one of our team to take the camera away from the left side. Make sure that there is no overlap between the subject and the team member. Now, let's have the second subject enter the frame from the right side and look for the camera. It's important to let the second subject walk behind the shelf so we can show the difference with and without the invisible box. And now, we have the second clip with all the actions. Alright, now that we have all the footage ready, let's import them into Fomar 11 to edit. If you haven't already downloaded Fomar 11, get started by going to fomar.wanashare.com or click the link in the description. Let's drag and drop the action clip onto the first video track and align the clean plate onto the second video track. If the clean plate clip is too short, we can slow it down by right-clicking on the clip on the timeline and selecting Show Speed Control. Drag the clip to an ideal length as needed. Duplicate the clean plate on the third video track. To make it easier, let's hide both the second and the third video track for now. Move the playhead to where the second subject enters and trim the clean plate on the second video track here. Delete the rest clip on the right. Then, move the playhead to where our team member enters the frame to grab the camera. Trim the clip on the third video track and delete the clip on the left. Next, move the playhead to where the camera is fully out of the frame. Trim here and delete the rest clip on the right. Okay, let's start applying the masks to the footage. Unhide the second video track now. Double click on the clean plate on the second video track and go to the video setting window on the top left. Click on mask. I'm going to use the rectangle mask here. Adjust the mask scale, position, width, and height. Make sure it fully covers the first level of the shelf. Play back this part and we just created an invisible box. Then, let's hide the second video track and unhide the third video track to apply the next mask. Double click on the clean plate on third video track. Move the playhead to the spot where our team member enters the frame to grab the camera and go to the video settings on the top left. Go to the mask section. I'm going to choose the single line mask. I'm going to rotate the mask to hide the team member on the left. Adjust the mask position to make sure it fully covers the team member here. Click on the add button in the top left masking settings to add a keyframe. I'll also increase the mask blur strength a little. Then, move the playhead to the right for a few frames. I'm going to adjust the position of the mask to make sure the mask covers the team member at this spot too. Repeat this step and add more keyframes to the mask until the team member leaves the frame. Play back to adjust and add more keyframes if needed. Now, let's play back the timeline and see how the magic happens. Don't forget to unhide all the tracks.
Alright, and that's how to create an invisible box using masking feature in Filmora 11. Do you know any other effects that can be created using masking? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we will make another tutorial about them. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!